So there's a good chance you're watching this because you're looking to get some motivation to get your ass to the gym, or you're subscribed because you want to hear me talk more about dicks. Whatever the case may be, let's get started. But first, you're probably wondering, who the hell is this, why the hell am I not subscribed, and why the hell is he qualified to give me some workout motivation? Well, I'm not qualified, but I can tell you that I look like this guy. But that's only when it's summer and it matters. I tend to look more like this guy when I'm cultivating mass, but that's not common, so I often look like this guy. In other words, I've been at this for a while, and if you stick around, I'm going to tell you some of the lesser spoken reasons I, and others who are in similar shape, use to stay motivated. Because you've heard it all, it's good for your health, it's good for your confidence, you get more energy, it's a good stress reliever, you get more likes on Instagram, yada yada yada. But there has to be something more to it, right? Anyways, you know what's great about looking like this? That feeling of when you're in some random crowded place and think, wow, if there was a zombie apocalypse right now, these people would be stupid not to choose me to be on their team. And the reason's obvious, it's because of these gains. And that's another piece of motivation, so you can say stuff like gains and get away with it. Here's a couple of other things you could get away with easier. Looking sweaty, taking off your shirt because you're sweaty, getting sweaty during sex. I don't know, I just tend to think fit people can pull off the sweaty look a bit better. You know what other look you can pull off better? Eating. Because you could either be fat and ugly while eating McDonald's, or you could be fit and ugly. The choice is yours. In other words, you get to eat more garbage with less guilt because the calories are going somewhere useful. At least that's what you get to tell yourself. You also get to tell yourself that it's okay you're posting so many pictures of your progress on Instagram and Facebook because you're now qualified to motivate people to do the same. It's definitely not to get back at your piece of shit of an ex for dumping you. No, no, no. Of course, once you reach a certain level of physique, you get compliments too. I personally get nice tits a lot. And that brings me to my last piece of motivation. Don't you want to look at yourself in the mirror and think, yeah, I'd fuck me? Do you really want to go through life not knowing what your body is capable of? Do you really want to be old and wonder what it's like to be in good shape? Don't you want to look back at your photos and think, wow, what happened? Don't you want to subscribe, like, and share? Leave all the answers to the questions I just asked in the comments. And remember, fitness is not a sprint, it's a never-ending marathon, but it's never too late to start and the best time to start is now. Not New Year's, stop waiting. Do it now.